Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Grimwit's Halloween Horror Show, and up next is Kitty Horror Show, a indie game developer who seems to focus more on mood than story, and we are going to go through four of her works. Ending with what I'm told is probably her best, which is something called Anatomy. Now, these works tend to be very loose and... I don't know how to explain it. Um, meta, I guess. But uh, she goes for a feeling, I think, instead of actual scares. So let's begin. All right. The reason why I want this window open in the background is because she has a tendency of ending her games by just shutting them down. Now, I've only seen three of her games so far. I've seen Grandmother, Leech Bowl, and... Oh, well, I guess this isn't a game. It's more of a story. But we're going to go with Pente, Actius whatever the fuck this is, and then anatomy. Also, as with many of my uh, games, what the fuck is happening to my world? Oh. We could go through the front door, but... I see something up here. It's a button. Oh. The Island of Whispers. It is said that this was where she came to compose her song, including... The aura which kept the black star from waking to engulf the sky. Popular legend tells that if one is to sleep here at the time of Aphion, the stars will quiet enough to hear her singing. Things are going to get surreal, I see. Well, I don't see any black stars awakening. I absolutely did not expect this. I expected something a little more classic. But that is the point, is to play and not actually know what's going on. Ah, there's a button over here. The Fountain of Ghosts. It was here that the swords first fell against her skin and opened her veins which hemorrhaged the spirits she had hosed, housed within her heart. So many were the spirits that they welled within the world, the wound and condensed like water to become a standing pond of lonesome wraiths. How can be, they be lonesome when there's so many of them? Okay, yeah, no. Is there another button around on this end? Yes, there is. Oh boy, this excites me. The gray hinges. While it is not known for certain what drove her from the island, it's said that the swords were a beacon for the gray hinges which gathered in the airs and surrounded the island as she slept. 
Most maintain that she gave her life to drive them away, while others believe that she was taken by them to the well of ha howls and thrones. Is this the Grey Hinges? This does give a slight feel of... I guess the word would be... sort of... meta? I don't know. I just, I'm curious what's behind all this. We'll have to go in eventually. Also, I like to think that we're in high heels. Sounds like high heels. No. Okay. Let's do this. There's nothing in here. Perhaps something's hidden around the corner? Here is a stone. There is a legend surrounding that stone. Nobody knows what it is or what happened to it, but the legend remains. There's another stone. This one's not legendary, it's just a stone. Ah, but this stone was the chip on the shoulder of God. And she let it lie right there, where it may... Whoa! All right. I don't think there's anything else here. Now, this is meant to be a sketch. Uh... Okay, that took a... Okay. I, uh, whoa. We, we have some crumbled pillars. And some really nifty sound effects. see what's going on over here. Okay, so the house is still semi-normal, and the rest of the world is just, um, well, I believe the scientific term is fucked. go to see if something's up with the gray hinges. And I haven't looked over the edge of the world. Okay. Looks like it's gone from clouds to water. But the souls are known to condense, so... Perhaps they'll come raining down on us like the beginning of the universe. I don't know. Head back inside. It's too creepy out here. There may not actually be an end to this, but, um, did that change the outside at all? Yes. A day and night world. Does this give us the same, uh, same thing? 
Yes. Okay. Let's go back inside. It looks so goddamn the same. And then Red Knight World. And I gotta say, uh, well, I didn't check around the corners of this place. I kind of doubt there's another door hidden around here. This might be all there is to this. Don't know. If you know, leave a comment or chat me. Okay, well... I'd have to say, between the two, if I wanted to leap off into the open, I, uh, I'd rather do it here. We've hit the world. Five pillars. Like the five-sided castle. Let's let's pick one pillar and see what's going on. Sumerian L numbers. No. Some numbers. Are they all like that? Let's find out. Don't know why I expect there to be a door in one of these. Must be my gamer instincts. sip of coffee to give me power. The power to overcome whatever the hell this is. Okay. That's three pillars, right? We've checked these three pillars. If it turns out to be the last one I check, whatever it is, I'm going to be, um, well, not pissed. I'm, I don't really get pissed. Not anymore. Wife won't let me. Which makes me angry. Okay, there's nothing going on with these pillars. Maybe I should just run to the moon. A loon who swooned to the tune of the moon all too soon. Yeah, stab that moon. Stab. 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 What the fuck am I doing? Let's just head to the moon. Surely there's something this way.
kitty horror show. I don't know what, what to do. Leave a comment or chat if you're kitty horror show. If you don't know how to play Pente, I can actually teach you. Uh, it's real simple. Uh, there can be two to four players. Whoop! Goodbye, world. You are a good world. I have no idea what to do with you. So long. I think we're done here. And that's why I put the windows in the background. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and make a cut for YouTubes and um, <laughs> we'll be back.